Hi guys, I'm Kim and you're watching Kim Wilson TV. Now, a burning question that a lot of victims and survivors have is, is my narc happy? Their new victim, new source of supply. And we're going to talk about that today. This video is being made by special request. Now, when you ask or obsess over or ponder the possibility that your narcissist might be happy with their new victim, you're kind of buying into the possibility that maybe your narcissist was right about you. Maybe it isn't them at all. Maybe it was you. Maybe you were the problem. Come on, guys. This is not the truth. You know it. I know it. You are dealing with someone who is mentally ill, who has had a lifetime pattern of destroying people's lives. They self-sabotage and they dirty up and damage everything that good, everything good that comes into their life. So you've got to kind of free your mind of that. You're keeping yourself trapped, pondering this possibility. It wasn't you. They have a form of mental illness that causes them to be absolutely enslaved to their behavior. They are robo-douchebags on a mission with an agenda to harm and hurt and sabotage everything that comes into their life. For them to have changed between you and the new victim, for something new to be happening, they would have had to been healed from or cured from their narcissism somewhere between you and the new victim, and that didn't happen. This is a permanent condition for them. They are mentally ill. Nothing has changed. They are right back into that four-step cycle, idealization, devaluing, dumping, and discard, and it just keeps looping and looping. That is the constant. The thing that is constant is that this person, this horrible human being, is mentally ill. You can change the victims all day long, but the constant thing is they haven't changed, and they sure as hell haven't. Is your narc happy uh, with his new supply? Well, they have no ability to make a human connection. You weren't real to them. You were just sort of an extension of uh, their need to hurt and use people and their, you know, broken, empty souls. This new person is exactly the same thing. But, but, they love the creating of the mask. They love the creating of the fake facade. They love the bullshit. They love the lying. They love the cheating. They love the deceit. They love priming someone new for the abuse that is definitely coming. So in that sense, in this very dark and macabre and dirty, filthy way, yes, they're happy. Because now they're back in the game. And that's what they love. That's what they want. They don't want a relationship with anyone. And they don't even have the ability to understand the concept. They just love that initial game. They love hurting people. They love dumping people. They love discarding people. So, yeah, if they're back on that treadmill, yeah, they're happy. And besides, think about it. This new person isn't on to them yet like you are. Oh, man, they're probably in their glory. Dirty, filthy pieces of shit, if you call that glory. Yes, it is tremendously painful to believe that you were in a loving relationship, that you've met your soulmate. Uh, you were abused horrendously, dumped and discarded, and now this piece of shit has just moved on to someone else. But that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. The person you fell in love with wasn't real. The person that this narcissist in your life is presenting to the new victim isn't any more real than the person that was presented to you. It is truly a very sick, toxic, poisonous, horrible environment, and you have to get out of there. The way I see it, I know I was immediately replaced. I was a tremendous amount of supply from my narcissist. So like a vampire in a feeding frenzy, like a flesh-eating zombie on a rampage, yes, he's desperately looking for new supply. Power to him. You know, knock yourself out. Honest to God, I don't care who my narc wakes up beside, as long as, for the love of God, it is never me again. I am done. My narc cross a final line with me. 
final straw on the camel's back. It is over. That is it. I'm done. In fact, what he finally did uh, to, to make me see him for what he is absolutely jolted me out of love with him. I, I don't care what happens to him. But if you are curious what happens to them, well, they usually get worse with therapy. They get worse with age. And quite typically, the narcissist will just burn up all of his bridges and die a very sad and lonely, miserable person. Now, if you see any vindication in that, you know, that's fine. Uh, maybe it is karma. But in the end, nothing good is coming of this person. And, you know, they live in such a, a state of self-hatred, self-loathing, so deeply shamed. They have such miserable, depressed panic-stricken existences, you know, they're getting their own karma. They're creating their own horrible environment. You need to step away. Every minute you spend obsessing about, you know, are they happy with their new victim? No. Fuck no. They're horrible, disgusting human beings, and they're never finding any real happiness. They have no capacity to love. They didn't love you. They don't love the new victim, not their mother, not their children, nobody. And they most of all hate themselves. Absolutely no. Please, you have to just come to terms with the fact that you got caught in, in a horrible, filthy game of deceit. There was never anyone there to love, and you were never in a relationship. You're not letting go of anything. You're just freeing yourself up to find real love with a real human being and a very good and decent person. One more thing I want to say about this topic is you have to keep in mind that the smear campaign is really real. This is truly a part of this whole process with the narcissist. Is, you know, they idealized you, they uh, devalued you, they dumped you, they discarded you. Now, believe me, the smear campaign, oh man, this is part of the agenda because it also helps them justify their horrible treatment of you. I mean, somewhere in their dark, dirty minds, they know that they really shit on you. So to justify it, they're now obsessively and compulsively telling their new partner how horrible you were, how rotten you were. I mean, it's just a bucket of barf. The whole thing, let it go. I mean, you are trapped in a spinning cycle of filth. And... You just have to accept it for what it is. You know, it, it's a bad deal all around, but for God's sakes, you're starting to wake up. You're starting to see it for what it really is. And now you've got a chance to really move on. God, find someone new. Find someone who's truly, wor truly worthy of your love. Honestly, you, you've got to just stop obsessing about this. None of it was real. You're trapped in an illusion. It, it's a bubble, and you need to pop that bubble and from the bullshit.